International Crossing will make transporting the flammable and corrosive materials a safe option. We're doing all new concrete, all new curbs, electrical, lighting, uh, guardrail. So the bridge is uh, rehabilitated for another 75 years. Opponents have been vocal. This is very dangerous, toxic waste that they're trying to transport across this bridge. I hope that the state of Michigan will recognize that this is a, um, a, a health and safety issue and we'll keep our current guidelines in place. Well, why do you think there is so much drama over this topic? You've got well, two very divided sides. My hope is some of that's gone, that people through these kind of interviews and, and information we're going to supply to MDOT will realize that this is bringing more safety to Michigan, not forcing trucks to drive another 60 miles on Michigan roads instead of a mile and a half over the Ambassador Bridge. But until the bridge company provides the state with more detailed information, no decision can be made. The bridge company has many letters of endorsement, including from the Wayne County Sheriff. Still, community opposition is strong. Of course, we'll follow this closely. I'm Karen Drew, Local 4 Defenders.